Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will just be a simple um, tutorial on how to make an in-game you know, user interface system where they can click on icons and it will edit aspects of the game. Um, I will be using some Python, and I'm just going to get started. To start off, I'm just going to right-click on this camera and hit X Delete, and then right-click on this cube and uh, on this light, sorry, and hit X Delete. Then I'm going to hit 7 to go in the top view, and click on this plus up here on the scene area, hit New. Let's rename this to Overlay Scene, like that. Now I'm going to hit Spacebar and then add a camera, like that. Alright, once you have that in the game, drag it up like this and hit 0 to go in the camera view. And what we're going to do is do Spacebar and then add a text object. Text. That. Go into Edit Mode or hit the Tab key. And let's just rename this to, let's say, Add, like that. I'm going to hit Shift and D to copy it, drag it down, hit the Tab key to go into Edit Mode, and rename this to Subtract. Alright, so we've got Add and Subtract right here. And I'm actually just going to rename this to those. I'm going to drag this out, and right-click on one of your icons, and rename it to whatever it says. So this case would be Add, right-click on this one, Subtract. Alright. Once we have those, we see if we hit P to play, they're actually not actually objects in the game. So actually, I'm going to go into our game logic view really quick. I'm going to go into our second scene. And on both of these properties, I'm going to add a game property on both of them. And it's going to be called icon. And the reason we want to call it icon is this is going to be an interactive icon that we can click on. And that's why we're going to use it that. And right click on one and hit the Alt key and C and convert it to a mesh. Alt key and C and convert it to a mesh. Now they are both objects in our game. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is create a script. So let's do templates Python and game logic simple. Drag this out. Now I'm going to delete the portion right here that I've highlighted. Hit Control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. I'm going to rename this as script.py. Okay. Next, let's import the scene or get the scene into our game. So let's do scene is going to equal bg.logic.gets current scene, like that. And what we're going to do now is have add is going to equal scene.objects add. And the same with subtract. Subtract is going to equal scene.objects subtract, like that. Alright. Next, let's right click on our camera. and Let's add three sensors. The first one will be an always sensor. The next one will be a mouse sensor. I'll name this as click, like that, and click tap, keep it at left button. Let's add another mouse sensor. I'll call this mouse over. I'll change it from left button to mouse over and I'll minimize this. And I'm going to add a controller in Python right here and connect these. Alright. Let's add the script right here. I'm going to drag this down. And inside of our script, let's define our controllers or um, our sensors. So we're going to have click is going to equal content sensors. Click. Actually, I'll go above this really quick. And mouse over is going to equal cont.sensors mouse over. All right, like that. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is have it. Um, let's have the name. The variable name icon is going to equal mouse over dot hit object. Actually, I just thought of something. On your mouse over sensor, change it to mouse over any and put the property icon. Alright, mouse over any with the property icon. And we're going to have the variable icon is equal to mouse over hit, hit object. Then what we're going to do is have if icon is equal to, let's say, add. Add. So if, we're, if our mouse is hovering over this object or add object, what we're going to do is have if click.positive, so if we press the left mouse button, we're going to do own.send message 
Let's say add like this. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Let's also have um, if icon is equal to subtract. We're gonna have if click dot positive. If we if um, if we're hovering over the icon subtract and we click, we're gonna have own dot send message subtract like that. Okay. Next we're gonna do, is I'm gonna add an else statement on each of these, so else, and else, so if we're not hovering over these, so I'm gonna go under here now, and if, we're, if the icon is equal to add, add.color is going to equal one comma zero comma zero comma true. If we're not hovering over it, we're gonna have add.color is going to equal 0 0.8 comma 0 0.8 comma 0 0.8 comma true. So it's going to turn red if we're hovering over it, and if we're not, then it's going to turn gray. And the same thing with subtract. So subtract dot color is going to equal one comma zero comma zero comma true. And then if we're not hovering over it, we're going to have subtract dot color is going to equal zero point eight comma zero point eight comma zero point eight comma true. Okay. The last thing we're going to do, actually I'll scroll this out, is we're going to make the mouse visible like this. So let's import render from the BGE. So from BGE import render. We're going to do render.show mouse and then one. Okay. So if we hit play now, we can see if we hover over this, it's going to turn it red. You can see though now that it's kind of flickering. So what I'm going to do is right click on one of them. Let's go over to the physics tab, switch this to Blender game. And where it says collision bounds, you're gonna check box this and change it to convex hull. And you see that this one is now nice, we can hover over it, it works, but this one is still pretty flickery. So let's do the exact same thing with the subtract button, convex hull. All right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to do one last thing. Actually, not yet. Oh, uh, yeah, we can do that now. Whenever we click on it, I'm going to have it so that we print, the, print a message. So print, and let's say add like this, or something like that. And then down here, let's have print subtract like that. OK. Next, let's do window and then toggle system console if you're using a PC. And if we hit play now, we can see that every time I click, it's going to have add over here, and then subtract. Add, subtract, add, subtract. OK. Now that we know that works, I'm going to go back into my main scene, um, main scene, right here. I'm going to hit 7, and then I'm going to add a camera like that. Add this camera and make it go up. And on our camera, what we're going to do is add an always sensor. I'll actually full screen this. Add an always sensor on our camera, and then add an actuator. And let's have this actuator be a scene actuator, and overlay the scene. All right. So we should see now that if we hit play, we have these two things right here, and we can click on them like that. All right. Next, though, on our camera, let's add two game properties. This first one will be um, add, and this one right here will be subtract, like that. Okay. And actually, let's add a third game property, which will be total. So this total variable, what we're going to have it be is equal to 15, like that. And let's click an I on all three of these, and then game, and then show debug properties. So what we're going to do right here is have it that if we click the add button, it's going to add to the total, and if we hit subtract, it's going to subtract from the total. And actually, let's just delete these two right here. We only need one variable, and that's the total. Okay. So now down here, let's add a message sensor. This will be add. 
And just like the message that we sent, it will also be add. So if you remember from our script, we send the message add, and it's going to do that. And if we, let's add a game actuator uh, property, sorry, not game, click it to add, and the total is going to add by one. So if we hit P to play now, you can see that every time I click on the add, it's going to add to that total property in the corner. But we can't actually subtract it yet. Let's do the exact same thing for subtract. Message, subtract. I'll rename this to subtract, like that. OK. Yeah. And add a property actuator. So add a property actuator. Change it to add total. I can click on it. And it's going to minus equal 1 every time. So minus 1, like this. So 1 and then minus 1. All right. And if we um, drag this across now, if I hit P to play, you can see if I subtract it, I can subtract it like that and add, subtract, add, subtract. All right, guys, that's how you kind of create a simple um, user interface to so the interface that the user can interact with. Um, this was kind of a longer tutorial than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. So it's pretty much if you hover over, if you hover over an icon, click it, it'll add something. If you hover over another one, it'll subtract it. And this is kind of how I like to format my games, where it's just like you know, if the icon equals add, color changes, stuff like that. But yeah, this is kind of how it works. All right, guys, thanks for watching.